Hello, welcome to today's immigration tidbit. So there's a lot of different aspects to the L-1 visa. And it's actually very beneficial if you can come on an L-1 and if you qualify. But one of the items that you need to have, no matter whether it's an L-1A, an L-1B, you have to work for the foreign company, which is basically the company where um, you're working before you get to the U.S. It doesn't have to be your country of birth. It doesn't even have to be the company that you've li- the country that you've lived in, but you have to work there for at least a year. Okay, so if you're going to come on an L1A, which is managerial or executive, then of course you should have worked for a year in managerial or executive capacity uh, at the foreign country. And same L1B, you should have worked a year in specialized knowledge capacity. Um, But I've had cases in the past where they go, oh, well, I have no records of me working. I, 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 you know, own the company and I don't keep any records. Well, if that's the case, an L1 might be a little bit difficult for you to go forward because you have to realize that everything you put in front of immigration they think is a lie. So that's why, you know, when we do L's, we have to prove with so much evidence why it's not. So even if you own the company, um, of course, you need to have tax records, invoices, contracts, payroll receipts, correspondence, uh, job description uh, posts, things like that. Um, but especially payroll records and tax records. If you come from a country that doesn't keep tax records, L1 is going to be difficult. I mean, I'll be honest with you. It's not that it's not doable, but it's going to be very difficult because all they're going to think is that you want to come on an L and you're pretending you worked there for a year, but you really didn't, and you're opening up a new office in the U.S. You know, like, and And so that's why... You know, there's different types of business visas, but if you can't prove that one year, at least, of working prior to coming into the U.S., that's going to be an issue. Now, it is possible, for example, to work in a specialized knowledge for one year and then try to come over on an L1A manager. That's doable. Um, But again, you have to get all your paperwork lined up and you have to sufficiently prove what's needed for that one year. Okay.